Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers in the last week, so I really appreciate that. I hope that you enjoyed this update on my life in Greece, and hopefully I will start traveling a little bit more soon around the Greek islands, and we'll be able to show you a little more of Greece instead of just my life. Anyway, <laughs> so a lot of you have probably been wondering what I've been doing. It's now September 9th and I arrived in Greece on August 27th. So since those, I don't know, like 10, 12 days, I think, I have been frantically looking for an apartment because there are two things that I needed to do in the first couple of weeks that I here, was here, which is one, find a place to live, and two, apply for my residence permit. Still working on two. Um, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother vlog. So apartment hunting is super difficult on a Greek island for a variety of reasons, particularly in Naxos. I know that in Paros, they have the same problem. Um, I know Santorini has had this problem for a lot longer than some of the more popular, or sorry, less popular islands than that. Um, and that problem is, is that there are plenty of apartments, but no one wants to rent for you for the entire year. And part of that reason is because of tourists. Uh, they want to rent out the apartment for June, July, and August, sometimes September. Um, and so they don't want you to live in the apartments in the summer. So a lot of the little yellow signs are that, that you see around town say September to June or September to May uh, because they want to rent out to tourists for July and August. Usually July and August, July and August are the most popular months that they want you out because those are when all the European tourists are on their holidays because most schools don't start in Europe until September. So that's part of the reason. The other reason is Airbnb. Greeks have discovered Airbnb. Um, and not in the sense that like, oh, you know, um, here's an extra room in my house and I'll rent it out. No, 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 no. They've just kicked out tenants um, and asked them to um, get out. Not entirely, not, not like, oh, get out for July and August, but just get out because they don't want to have people moving in and out all the time. Um, I do have friends here that own an Airbnb, but it wasn't anything before. It was literally like a rundown ruin <laughs> that they have like built up and can, you know, made into three little studios that like to be on one of them, you wouldn't want to live in all the year. It's purely like a vacation. It's tiny. Like I've been living in it myself. So, um, anyway, it's a huge problem here and I've been running into that problem. I ran into this problem last year when I was here that I couldn't find a place for even a couple of months. Um, and at first I, you know, last year I didn't care if it was for the whole year because I wasn't going to be here for the whole year, but now I really care. Not because I necessarily want to be here in July and August because July and August here are super packed, but I don't want to move all my stuff out. Um, I only came with two suitcases and a carry-on. However, I know that by the time next year rolls around, I'll probably have a lot more stuff. So that being said, it was really difficult. And it's also not like in the US where you would walk up to an apartment complex and fill out an application and go look at an apartment and say, yes, I like it, and walk out an hour later and you have an apartment. It just doesn't work that way. Most of the apartments are owned by families makes sense right if they're renting them out on airbnb so you have to look for these yellow these little yellow stickers all over town and they're all in greek <laughs> so i've gotten really good at reading greek um that say for rent basically um, but they all say from september to june and very rarely do they ever say for the whole year um, <laughs> So yeah, I saw one apartment for the whole year that didn't have heating and air conditioning. I don't know about y'all, but on a Greek island, I need air conditioning. And in the winter, it gets cold here and I need heat. Of course, people are like, no, you don't, you'll be fine. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I could probably learn to live without air conditioning, but I cannot live without heat. So anyway, um, I finally found a place through a real estate agent, which is a little bit unusual, but I think the reason that I found it through them is because they actually own the apartment because it's in like their family house. Like I'm on the ground floor of their family home, uh, which is actually really good because I hope that means that they will take good care of me in the apartment because you know, whatever happens in my apartment happens in their house basically. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. Please keep in mind, I literally just got here like four hours ago, I've started to unpack, 
but it is not decorated. It is furnished. A lot of most of the Greek island apartments that I've seen have been furnished. Some of them a little more sparsely than others. Um, this one's actually pretty full of furniture, so um, I won't need to buy any furniture per se. I might need to buy like lamps, but I need to decorate. Like there's nothing on the walls. So, okay, so this is the front door. I should say the only door. <laughs> Um, and outside here is a little um, patio sitting area. Um, I'm going to put some plants out there and also put a table and chairs eventually because I really want to sit out there and work. So right when you walk in the front door is the kitchen and the dining area. Not my favorite thing to walk into, but it does separate the rest of the apartment from the kitchen, which I appreciate not looking at the kitchen. It's pretty small, but I have dealt with worse, and at least the oven is separated from the little thing. Last year, mine all sat on the counter, and that was kind of hard for my short self to use. So, little dining table with two chairs. I might have to get a couple more. The smallest closet I've possibly ever encountered, and I didn't bring a lot so it will fit. Um, I'm gonna have to put my winter clothes in my suitcase, um, but that's fine. So this is the bedroom slash living room. <laughs> so it's actually two single beds um, that I have pushed together and hopefully we'll find something to put um, here between the two. Um, I may actually go, there's a mattress place that actually makes mattresses down the street. So I may actually have them see if they can make me something because I'd really rather not sleep on a twin bed for the next year. Uh, but it is nice for guests because then when guests come, I can just separate them and they can sleep in their own bed. Um, here is a couch. Still have some luggage on it that I'm working on unpacking. Um, it doesn't fold out, which is fine because there's no place for it to fold out to, but it's pretty comfortable. And um, if my family comes, my nieces can at least stay with me because the little one can sleep on this couch. And it's pretty comfortable, actually. Um, and over here... A very giant TV screen, which I don't watch a lot of TV, so, um, but I do watch Netflix, so I'm going to see if I can hook up my laptop to that. Um, and they had this arranged a little bit differently. They had this little table underneath that mirror over there and that little um, nightstand over here. But as you can see, I'm trying to hide my suitcases behind the bed because I don't have any place to put them. I thought that it would fit under the bed, but... They're about, oh, an inch too tall for them to go in there, so. And here is the bathroom. Um, this is actually a pretty good sized shower for Greece. Um, normally they're like so small you can barely turn around in them and you're constantly touching the shower curtain and that really grosses me out, so. I'm really happy with that. And the most exciting thing is the washing machine. It's actually a washer dryer. Um, so it dries and washes, but this being grease, you know it can't be perfect. So the plug, the only plug in this bathroom, is over here. <laughs> On the other side of the doorway. So I'm gonna have to get a very long extension cord and run it underneath the toilet and around here and only plug it in when I'm using it. But you know what? I'm just so excited to have a washing machine, I really don't care. So that's it. That's my entirety of my little apartment. Um, but I'm very happy. I'm actually way happier with the apartment than I thought I was going to be because I thought I was going to have to settle for something that I was just so-so about. Um, so the high ceilings, the washing machine, the location, I'm a 10 minute walk from the beach. Um, so that is like one of the best things for me because I love walking down to the beach every day and I haven't been doing that because I've been staying on the other side of town. Uh, so this is really great for me. And hopefully, once I get some more decorations, maybe I'll come back on and give you a, an apartment tour update. If you liked this video and you want to see more, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and if you have a question about finding an apartment in Greece, leave me a comment below, and I'll do my best to help you out.